Ladies and gentlemen, the time is here. The time is now, as we all know. I have been making a series biggest flexes in anime for a long time. I took a hiatus for the last couple of years because I wanted to do other things, but my man CJ launched a series called The Most Disrespectful Moments in Anime History, which is the spiritual child of biggest flexes in anime. Anyway, uh, Most Disrespectful Moments in Anime History, CJ the Champ just uploaded another one. Let's freaking go, baby! So then Shogo asked, yo, where's my homie at? Oh yeah, your home dog that look like Brock. Yeah, young blood, I got you, he right here. Oh my god. Oh damn. He waiting for you in the gulag right now. <laughs> hey, oh, nigga, where you going? I want to make a deal for the OnlyFans. Hey, come back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. All it right. is time for yet another installment of the most disrespectful moments. I do love history. disrespectful this moments. Honest to God. I just watched Blue Lock, and that thing is full of disrespectful moments. My God. We observed some of the most outlandish, violent, disgusting acts. Oh! That's a rough one. Acts to ever be committed, and some that we don't even talk about. Oh, yeah, we don't talk about that. <laughs> so, yeah, they keep on asking me to put this in here. Stop it. Get some help. So true, dude. Never put... The eclipse as like the dude. Everyone's been asking me like, what, well, bro? Why didn't you put the eclipse in the biggest flexes in anime? He flexed so hard he murdered everyone and then had sex with someone's girlfriend in front of him. It's not a flex, okay? That's a crime. <sighs> so yeah, let's just get started, man. Oh baby! Time I got reincarnated as a slime season two. That was probably where he uh, he wiped out the whole village with the goo needles. Fire Force season two. I don't know. I never watched season two. One Piece Jaya. Oh my god! I want to see. Okay, well, Jaya is probably gonna be Luffy punching Bellamy, which is a disrespectful moment. Right, like, like up, and subscribe. Damn it! Is a actual three in one. So uh, the Tempest Federation violating the church. Now, a lot happened during this war, but the amount of disrespect dished out by these three specifically is just absolutely disgusting. So they ended up pulling up on these fatherless bastards because they coming back to get it back in blood after they ran up on their village the first time. And these dudes deserved every last bit of the violation that got served to them. Like, you really thought you was going to spin Rimuru's block and walk away from that bitch unscathed? Nah, nigga, you, you signed your death papers and you are a fucking opposition. A dead one at that. So we start off with this Brock looking motherfucker talking shit to Hakuro. You dare insult Brock? He was a man of wisdom. He used a frying pan as a drying pan. Okay, and see, here's the thing. Bro walked into his own death. You want to know why he walked into his own death? Simple. You should know. To not f with old niggas so true. in anime. Bro, you see an old man in anime? Run the frick away. Like my boy, you... Dude, and look how cocky he is right before his head gets torn off. Far from our world, how do you not know? Brock taught us how to simp chat. That's not the best quality. Know okay. this. You should know that the old heads are always cracked. And then you see him standing like this, looking like, oh, why, hello there, Sonny. Yeah, it's not a good sign. We're having not a good sign. No, 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 no. So then Unk start looking at him like, you know, Sonny, I really can't stand you and your new generation. You see, back in my day, we didn't have pussies like y'all. All y'all do is stay inside and scroll on that cellular device. What is that y'all be on? Talk to it. It's caught TikTok, you fucking boomer. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, Ugh, you me. kids are gonna make me dive cringe before Father Time catches up to me. So he starts fighting Hawk Girl and he takes this little nigga to school. Unk started blocking all of his attacks and he hasn't even moved from the same spot he started in. And he looking at him like, well, come on, sonny boy. You was talking all that shit. Oh, and damn. Look at your dumb ass. You're baffled, aren't you? Man literally had one trick and it didn't work and he's like, oh, I, so I'm dead now. You dumb fuck nut. <laughs> Fuck you, you prehistoric boomer! I love how he censors every second fuck. It's like, every once in a fucking while, he doesn't censor a fuck, but then he's like, you know, fuck it. I'm gonna fucking censor this fuck right here. Stevie, censor half those fucks, please. Thank you. No. He also starts blitzing them with this all-seeing eye. And this is where- I love how they come up with skills. It's like, all right, all right. We're just gonna give him a skill to make him seem cooler so that when he gets his ass absolutely handed to him, it's gonna be even more badass. Idiot shot himself in the- so Unk started weaving all of his attacks. And then he looked at his dumb ass and said, Oh, you think you're fast, youngin? My eyes have already caught up to yours, boy. Now let me show you speed. Water breathing form 69. Chris Water Slash. Yeah. 
Fatality. Unk wins. Yeah, this damn. man just sliced a bro's head clean off, true grabbed set, his head, and said, uh, Now, see, look, your youngsters move too fast. You want to use all that acceleration bullshit, and look where I got you. Headless. <laughs> You're ugly. Man's talking to a decapitated head. Yeah, it's probably never even got head yourself. What a sad life. Now, use all this extended time you gave yourself to think about your actions. Damn! The first fatherless idiot has been taken care of. We cut over to the second one. So this man Shogo fight big homie Geld. So obviously Shogo talking shit like the fatherless bastard he is. But little did he know he was- I love how they split up these assholes just so that they're each beaten horribly. But none of them actually saw the other one get beaten. So they're all cocky. To get adopted. Cause this man Geld was about to sun his ass. So bro started hitting him with that rock. So then he started screaming and saying, fuck you, you fucking pig. Really? Pig? I'm a orc, you racist ass bastard. You know what? I should chop your balls off. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, big homie. Okay, I'll give you all my money. You know what? I'll give you my Sarah J OnlyFans. The subscription's worth $50. Gail, you ain't dispose of this sorry ass nigga yet. My, oh, my God. bad, OG. I was just about to chop his balls off. So then she'll go He's asked, like, hey, yo, where's, where's the other head? guy? Oh, yeah, yo, oh. you know that look like Brock. Yeah. yeah, young blood, I got you. He there right he here. Is, buddy. Oh, my God. Waiting for you in the gulag right now. <laughs> hey, old nigga, where you going? I want to make a deal for the OnlyFans. Hey, come back. A few moments later. Uh, hey, yo, ho, where you at? Um, excuse me, nigga. I have a name. You see, this is why you and your nigga don't get no head. I, 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 shut up. Nobody cares. Listen, give me that ass. Huh? <laughs> so while this man is choking out the girl to take her powers, okay, the other dope, hot dope, girl dope. standing outside the tent like, mm, mm, mm. Who let him cook? No, who let him cook? This is a man, all right? He knows he's about to get killed. He just wants to get his dick wet for the first time in his life. I don't know, Unk, but I'll tell you this. He ain't cooking shit. So this man Shogo come out the tent. Bro got Kuraga now. And he like, yeah, I'm cooking. <laughs> you ain't cooking shit. Shut up, you fat ass pig, before I turn you into bacon, nigga. So this man Geld is sick of it at this point. <laughs> the bro starts walking to him and says, before I kill you, I will give you the pleasure of learning my name. I am Gel, but the orc holes in the village love to call me Tyrone. And that is what of you will be calling do. me after I pound you into a pile of shit and add you to my roster of bitches. <laughs> Shut up, piggy. Get ready to become a ham and cheese. And get I love how confident they are every time before they die. It's like anyone this confident is dead. Ready to become my son. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think you're going, whole ass nigga? <laughs> He's just so fast. This man Gil just starts pummeling him into the ground. So then he tells him, Well, look at here. Looks like you turned yourself into an immortal punching bag. Congratulations. You played yourself. Now let's see how long you can regenerate till your MP runs. <laughs> Oh, damn, he's getting that sucking action right there. Oh, the damn, bro, he went after the balls right away. Good bro ass nigga, bitch ass, pussy ass, punk ass nigga. I'll beat the dog shit out of your dumb ass. Captain D's looking motherfucker. Oh, damn, oh, damn. It was just a prank, bro. Tell me, boy, what's my name? <laughs> I can hear all that. Ah, da, 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 da. What's my name, nigga? Tyrone. That's what I thought. <laughs> now hand over Sarah J's only fans. <laughs> then my you God. Join your homie in the gulag. <laughs> oh, okay, here you go. Here you go. Excellent. I wish you luck in the gulag. <laughs> This is the Gulag. In here, you fight to win back your life. True. 
Now you see, what you just witnessed was a alternate universe. Cause bro got bailed out by this level 99,000 ass wizard. But I mean, bro still did take a trip back to the lobby because a level 99,000 wizard took his body. But you wanna know who didn't get bailed out? Everybody else. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I knew he was gonna use this clip. I knew he was gonna use this scene. Went on a fire sale. Bro boosted his KD so hard when he killed his whole damn army. Nigga stood over everybody, lined up each shot precisely, and hit him with the Double kill. Triple kill. Over kill. Kill Trocity. Kill him. Jaro. Oh lord, what the hell is happening? Bro, he had to he made a Harry Potter reference. Doesn't he know? Doesn't he know you don't make a Harry Potter reference today? People are gonna be upset at you for something. And lord Farquaad the fifth, please calm down, sir. Yes, me lord. With my unique skill spearhead, you should be able to escape the enemy and not get head tapped. Oh yes, excellent, excellent. Give me the fuck out of here, please. Right away, sir. So after Rimuru finishes head tapping everybody, he comes down and Rosin starts trying to talk and start saying, Now you stop right there, you dirty filthy monster. I shall let you know that the nation of Thalamus and our king, the great Lord of Farquaad V, do not negotiate with terrorists. Good. Cause I didn't come here to negotiate shit. <laughs> oh lord, please give us help. Please, please, negotiations. Yes, yes. Oh man, is Nux supporting a Harry Potter supporter? Cancel time, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Kill, cancel me over this. Cancel me over this. Yeah, I dare ya. Please don't shoot. Fine, I won't shoot. Yes, you see, uh, would you like to become a territory? I mean, you're still gonna have to pay taxes and shit, but uh, it's better than being enemies, right? Taxes. <laughs> I don't do W2s, fucker. Wait! We, we, we have TurboTax to help you. <laughs> I'll, I'll even let you get away with tax evasion. <laughs> oh, I thought you said you wouldn't shoot! Yeah, nigga, I lied. And that's against the law. <laughs> you fucking fed! So after this, Rimuru decided to take everybody else's soul. So he gonna get enough to become a demon lord. But after that, bro started wobbling. Nigga look like he just got straight off the henny. So then he ends up summoning this broken ass nigga Diablo. Cause bro is somehow still alive. Doesn't God, stop. What he did to this man was just an absolute violation. Bro sent a fireball at him. He blew it away. Man summoned a golem. We backhanded that bitch. Then to finish My him Lord. off. This man with this mean ass light skin stare. Angel. Bro, he looked at him to death. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, next up is this big ass Tyrone ass nigga. Just being a bully. I mean, first of all, look at this man's name. Charon, Charon. Nigga, that looks like and sounds like Tyrone to me. <laughs> That looks like it sounds like Tyrone. True, true, CJ. Tell him. I mean, look at this big ass to pull up behind them, absolutely asserting dominance over the situation. So he like, hey, how y'all doing? I'm looking for a mentally unstable woman with pink hair. Is that you by any chance? Uh, maybe. Hey man, what do you think you're doing, bro? How about you just go fuck? <laughs> Dirty ass nigga, touch my goddamn all white geek, nigga. The Lame ass nigga. So he starts chasing Not down Ika and trying to capture her. But then Shinra comes in and hits him with the knee. And bro ain't even move. And then he gets up with all this confidence and starts saying, <laughs> Hi, my name's Captain Savaho, Shinra Kusakabe at your service. <laughs> nigga, what is going through your mind? Dude, he wants to smash. Just need a nigga at full speed and he didn't move? Bro, I'd be worried about my safety and her safety <laughs> at that point. I mean, she already a lost cause. She batshit crazy. Like, my guy, she don't want to be saved. So, my boy, you walked into this whooping yourself. So then this man, Charon, said, All right, gang, you want to scrap then? Let's scrap then. Squad, hype me up. B. B. L. 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 So then this man, she hits him in the face, but he it and said oh so we just gonna kick a nigga in the face during black this man's like oh yeah step on me mm, yeah history month all right then nigga <laughs> step on your lame ass and then he starts dragging him oh my god shinra bro this is why we do not try to be captain save a hoax look at 
the situation you're in. You are fighting a nigga so strong, the ground is exploding when he walks. But I know some of y'all gonna be saying, <laughs> but CJ, he's supposed to be a hero. That's against his morals. Nigga, fuck your morals. Hey, hey, but people are shit saying right here, though. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, dude, if your job is, if you want to save people, okay? But what trying to save a person, you'll just end up dying. You are killing all the people that in the future you would say, run away today, save people another day. If it's just if it just ain't gonna work, there's no point being a hero. Oh damn. No way. Oh damn. No. Oh damn! You're a black history month too, yo! Bro, man. Oh no, oh no, no. <laughs> Man, Frieza would be so proud right now. They both start talking about how they gonna take Inca back with them. But she ends up saying, nah, f both of y'all niggas. So he walks over to her and says, Hey, little girl, you better shut the f up before I slap shit out your little stupid ass, you hurt? Hell no! So later on, while they keep on fighting, Shinra starts finding a way to go find Inca again. But then this man looking at him like, the fuck? <laughs> Where you think you going, Captain Save a Ho? You know what? <laughs> Let me bring your bitch ass back down to Earth. So this man jumps into the stratosphere. My and lord. starts slamming him through buildings. Okay, he's dead. God, I hope these people have home insurance. But dog started flipping himself, but look at him. He hit this landing and hit the smirk. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. I even forgot to mention this motherfucker's blindfolded. But no, no, look at Shimmer real quick. So they about to capture her. So he's like, hey, stop right there. Stop right there. I want to get my dick wet. Him like this. It was saying sh like, fuck off. I don't need your saving ho ass nigga. I live for the streets. I die for the streets. I love the chaos. So stop worrying about me and go get a dental appointment with them fuck ass teeth. So true. This nigga is So crazy. true. So they started scrapping again. So Shinra kicked him. He ate the kick. Chop this oh, nigga. Oh my god, this is uh, a rough Then bro buddy. said, Clap! Then he backhands him. Oh my god, somebody called CPS. No, 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 no. This is when they got crazy. He has his <laughs> squad. Jump him. Like what? And the like gang that. initiation is this. Then he charges up a Kamehameha and fries this nigga point blank. God, look at him, bro. It's like a burnt My piece of loud. charcoal. The soul has left his body. But with the power of plot armor, somehow got up. So Shiver got in his zone, got his hands right, and said, Fresh up, man. So he ends up hitting a final smash on that nigga. Bro has left the stage. So you gotta be thinking, oh, this fight's over. Bro's knocked out, right? Yeah, uh, no. Bro gets up and sucks the shit out of this nigga. Oh, Dude, my bounce. God. Bro hit him with a rage art. Look at his body. Oh up. my He's lord. Wall up. Hey, but I mean, he crumpled he got him. up again just to get told off by Crazy Shorty. Dude, this you you are the worst shonen protagonist I've ever seen. <laughs> Except for like Deku and Boruto. <laughs> then slap in the face once more. Dog, no one wants you here. While she walking off with the Evangelist, this man Shinra is so mad. Bro. He's like, bro, I just want to have sex with a woman. Oh, beat up his shit in the corner. Then he started yelling at her like, fuck, I'm gonna kill you, stupid bitch. Oh my God, you do not know how happy that just made me. What you just said made me so warm and hot inside. <laughs> Please try your best. Wait. Oh my God, why? Fire, Fire Force is just, okay. The reason why I couldn't continue Fire Force when I, I started, I could not continue it because I felt like every single character was a caricature of what their character was supposed to be. The girl that always gets naked. It's like, really bro? The posh rival guy. Really bro? Nigga. <laughs> Damn. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Skype your time. This anime in a minute. I'm ready. Luffy smacking the shit out of Bellamy. Yeah. I hope. I hope. He also covers Enel and Sanji. This is one of the most deserved ass whoopings. Oh, true. That was done with absolutely so no effort. So the straw has pulled up in Jaya, and they end up running into the Bellamy Pirates, being some damn dickheads. Look at this motherfucker. Bro looked at <laughs> Luffy and said, boy, if you don't get your dirty ass out of my face, here, take some money, nigga. Get your drip up, nigga. Trash ass with them worn out jeans and them busted ass sandals. Wait, hold on. You ain't lying? Get your ass over here. Uh, yeah, yes, ma'am. <laughs> 
He did a one piece laugh. CJ did a one piece laugh. <laughs> Wait, hold on, you ain't lying? Get your ass over here. Uh, yeah, yes, ma'am. So then later on, they're at the bar and they meet Bellamy. So bro walk up in there like, oh, so you're the guy worth 30 million. Dude, what a great arc. Guy? I'm, by the way, as you know, I'm working on this big um, One Piece series that I want to do an analysis once a week on Nuxanor on One Piece, going basically from the beginning all the way. You can bet I'm doing an analysis on Bellamy, how Bellamy is one of the best written characters in One Piece. I know it sounds like a joke, but the man is. The whole Jaya Skypea arc is so good. Skypea, it's all about dreams. Like, follow your dreams, bro. Follow your dreams. Sky Island is real. And everyone's saying, no, Sky Island is not real. It's fake. It's a fantasy. Bellamy is that person that's going up against Luffy right now, saying your dreams are cringe. And you know who Luffy meets in this bar? Blackbeard. The guy that says you should follow your dreams. What a great arc. What a great character. And what a disrespectful moment. I don't know, but it looks like a minority. <laughs> oh no, don't do my boy Zoro like this. Why, why? So bro offers Luffy a drink, but he slams his face into the counter. So then he ends up just starting to beat him. The whole bar start throwing shit. And then they just started jumping him. But the thing is, they wasn't doing nothing because they ain't give a fuck. They ain't give a fuck about the nigga till they ran up and stole the gold that they needed. So then later that night, this dude runs up in the bar and he's saying, Bail me! You need to get the fuck out of here now! Damn, what are you talking about with your ugly ass? Them two dudes that you beat up, them dudes is Timothy! Look! <laughs> so then all these dudes end up realizing, dude's bounty ain't no 30 mil, they ain't oh, get the new yeah. patch notes. Bro, shit was 100 mil, them niggas was speechless. Then bro saying, b b b bail me you best get the stamping. You best hope he doesn't come get his get back. Man, he ain't gonna do shit. Honey mail my ass. <laughs> they is pussy. You know what? <laughs> You're right. We shouldn't be scared of nothing. This is the one piece laughs, dude. Bellamy! Get your big ass out here! Bro, I love this so I, much. The build up here. Up. So this man Bellamy walk outside and he see Luffy standing on top of this tower looking like he Batman or something. But then bro uses this goofy ah uh, devil fruit, bro. I cannot stand this <laughs> fruit at all, dog. Bro it's look like Slinky fruit. Dog with this shit. But Bellamy's like, oh, so you came to get your get back? Nah, I mean not for real. I just need to go. I don't give a fuck about your dumb ass. So they start fighting and this man Bellamy looks like he's actually him with this Slinky Dog chilling <laughs> man. Stupid ass fruit. fruit. So this man Luffy falls. Do you imagine awakening this? fruit everything around you becomes bouncy wait down why this man bellamy talking shit and his whole crew in the background talking like yeah that's right finish his trash ass yeah that's right bum ass nigga so then this man bellamy uses spring hopper hopping around like an uncontrollable idiot bro looking like a kid who od'd on flintstone gummy <laughs> Luffy's just standing there like sick of this shit so our bro's hopping around bro ass and the whole time he's doing this he's also flexing he's like ah i am so fat you will never be able to predict my movements. Look at the way my speed allows me to bounce in all directions. Do you even know how to throw a punch? So this man, Luffy, lifts up his hand and says, So you want to know if I can throw a punch? Oh, right? shit. Uh, fuck around and fuck oh. Yeah, baby. And he murders him. Punch. He, he dented his face. The dog water out of him. Bro. Flattened his stupid ass for everybody to see. And just nonchalantly puts back his hat. No, dude, but he also, he, he dented his face. He, he covered it with the KO sign. Nonchalantly puts back his hat on. Oh, no, bro. Dog hit him with- Oh, there, there it is. <laughs> this isn't just a bruise. Man literally dented his face. Nigga, you ain't shit. And look at his crew. They looking like, hey, bro, you, you good? This a fluke, right? Nigga, get your ass up. But no, bro was out cold. <laughs> He's missing and everything, but he better get ready for some dentures. <laughs> bro got knocked out so bad, he ain't even wake up till we got to dress Rosa. Aww. Okay, all right, I respect it. I respect giving the Bellamy arc enough respect. That was a good video. Most disrespectful moments in anime. Now these were some good ass moments, I do have to say. Like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch. Stay weird, fam.